Hey you guys. I decided to um get back to Wolf with them. Because you guys were asking about it. So here we are. And yes, I'm eating. Mm-hmm. I'm eating some fish and french fries. Or as the people overseas like to call them fish and chips, y'all. Okay. Uh, this is on my last episode of them. They, um... Morgan gave Adrian a tour. And stuff. Or whatever. And showed it to her room. Now. So they're not gonna hold up. Oh, Morgan. Hey, Adrian. Are you hungry? Food has been prepared and it's in the dining room. Adrian's point of view. The moment I heard the knock, I was instantly awake. But I just quickly closed my eyes again. The one thing I've learned from my past is that to go unseen, you must act unthreatening. Mm. Hasn't always helped, but it's the only strategy I've ever had. And I'm not about to change it. Adrian, are you awake? Silence. Well, I'll let her sleep. She's probably still super exhausted. So this wasn't a dream. I'm not free. I'm still trapped in a pack. Well, with a pack. I can't trust them. They won't treat me any differently than they not. Okay, let's see. Oh, you're awake. Uh, anyway, uh, I came to bring you some food. Uh, Maureen said that you were asleep when she stopped by a little while ago. I thought I'd bring some before the wolf scarf it down. Oh, uh, no. Uh, that's okay. Let them eat what they want. Oh, no, my dear. You need to eat some. <laughs> Here, I'll leave it on the chest in front of your bed. Oh, okay. She doesn't look too thrilled to have food. <laughs> well, I'll let you be. Back to Adrian's point of view, you guys. Um, I looked at the food that was brought to me. Should I eat it? I say yes, but she's not going to eat it no damn way. Nah, it's not alright. I don't think that they did anything to it. Mm. As Adrian brings the fork of food to her mouth she instantly has the flashback of her past flashback you guys flashback mm, Adrian's at her old pack house mm. let's see how dare you touch our food mm. Detroit calm down but, but I didn't touch any of the pack's food it was so full of it Really, I didn't eat any of it. Are you giving me attitude? No. Shut up. Who's, who asked you to speak? Mm -mm. You pay for your disrespect. Adrian's old pack raised his hand and hit her across the face. Mm -hmm. Um, Adrian fell to the ground, shaking in fear. Oh, hold on, wait a minute now. Uh, she grabbed her cheek but instantly regretted it. I don't think I can. You want some of this? Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Her cheek stung when she touched it, and she knew that she would end up with yet another bruise. Unfortunately, it was the norm for her. Um, her pack was never nice to her, and they always found a way to be mean. In the flashback. Y'all, this food is so good. I know y'all like bitch stuff you can just read, but I can't, girl. I don't want uh, that to happen again. Without giving any more thought to it, Adrian left the food alone. In fact, she decided not to touch any of the food brought to her. She doesn't want to be touched again. 
a week later. Alpha, the perimeter of our territory is secure. Nothing out of the ordinary to report. Good, glad to hear that. Kai did not tell you to knock before you enter. Yes, I apologize. But that's not the problem here. Kai right, Morgan, you are dismissed. What's going on? No, Morgan, step. Kai. Has anyone noticed that Adrian hasn't gained a single pound since she came here from the hospital? In fact, it looks like she's lost even more weight. Alpha and Morgan look at each other, sadly, and then they took back. They look back at Kai. Yeah, I've noticed it. Why hasn't anything? Why isn't anything being done? What can we do? We can't force her to eat. We have to do something. I won't let her waste her weight to nothing. I understand your concern, but you shouldn't be taking your frustration out on Morgan. Ty looks at Morgan and sees her glance down, submitting to him. <sighs> You're right. Sorry, Morgan. I just thank an ass. It's fine. It's not okay. I shouldn't be mad at you. I'm afraid to see my mate in this state, and I can't do anything to change it. She's already too little. May I make a suggestion? Mm. Kai and the Alpha look at each other and then both nod at Morgan. What if we bought her simpler meals? What do you mean? Well, I think she's too afraid to eat because of her past. If she were used to getting, dare I say, crappy meals, the meals were bring to her maybe too extravagant. So, you're suggesting that we bring her, her less food? No, not less, just simpler. Why don't you bring her oatmeal or sandwiches? And <laughs> not the three course meals that you men are so in love with. Now that's an idea. Yeah, it just might work. Go bring her something and we'll see if she eats this time. Yes, Alpha. Mm. So I know that you're concerned about Adrian. Mm. How could I not be? She's my mate. I understand that. Your mother and I went through the same thing. Yeah, but you and mom knew that you were each other's mates. Mine hasn't even acknowledged me as hers. <laughs> and why would you? Dad, I don't even know how to help. Mm. Some mate I am. Ty. Between the mate is, um, is more than just the initial pull of the bomb. Hmm. Uh, you need to strengthen it by gaining her trust. Here. Shit. Um, also, the true bond isn't felt until you perform the bonding ritual. So this isn't <laughs> at, <laughs> at its fullest yet? <laughs> no, my son. Your bond is will only grow stronger in time. But... Excuse me. Before you even need to worry about that, you need to get your mate talking to you. That seems easier than said said than done. Or maybe. Oh, it very may very well maybe. I suggest you take things slow. She'll need to know that you can be trusted and that you won't cause her any harm. Yeah, you're right. Why don't you go help Morgan bring food to Adrian? Okay, I'll go help. Thanks, Dad. If anyone's want to help this girl, it's him. Girl, that was good. Hey, I came to help. Hey, okay, here's some porridge. You think she'll eat it? I'm not sure, but we're running out of options. And she's running out of time. Here, go give this to her. Okay, I'll take this to her. Um, Ty, make sh uh, may I make a suggestion? What kind of suggestion? Approach her calmly and non-threatening. I'm the least non-threatening wolf here. Are you sure? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> as far as that girl's concerned, you are the big bad wolf.
Uh, I suppose you're right. Of course I am. Uh, calm and non-threatening. Can I do that? Give it another push back. He got his on the floor. Wait, I can do that. This kid is hopeless. Ty's point of view. Let's see. Um, I called her when I entered the room. I wanted to make sure I didn't startle her, but she just stood there staring out the window when I called out for her. I slowly began to approach her, and just as I'm about to tap her shoulder, she turned around and stared at me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. <laughs> Adrian looked down at food that Kai held in his hands. It was a simple meal, but packed with the nutrition that her body was obviously missing. You hungry? I bought you something to eat. I, I shouldn't. You don't want any? Think, Kai, think. Think of reasons why she wouldn't have ate while at her out the pack. That's it. Maybe Morgan is right. Adrian probably used to getting leftovers. Adrian, the pack is done eating. Do you want some? in front of you. I was a little startled when Kai walked in. I didn't know what he wanted until I saw the food. Unlike the last meal, the meal he bought was bought me was plain. As I stared at it, I felt a, tw a twing in the bottom of my stomach. A twinge. Uh, anyway, uh, it was then I realized I hadn't eat, eat, ate anything in weeks. So, I quickly held my stomach becoming embarrassed when then I looked up at Kai. He looked down at me full well knowing of what that sound meant and ordered <laughs> me the food again. Offered me the food again. I'm torn. I'm hungry, but I don't want, I don't know what he did to this food. I was never offered food freely. I always had to do something to get it. Thinking of that one incident brought me back shivers down my spine. What would he demand? Here, eat. What What do I have to do? What did you say? Adrian nervously frigid it under Kai's gaze. What do I have to do to eat that? <laughs> what does she mean? <laughs> you don't have to do anything for it. <laughs> Adrian cautiously took the bowl from uh, Kai's offering hand and sniffed it. Not a trusting wolf, are we? So, sorry. It's okay. Tell you what. Eat this meal and if it makes you sick, you don't have to eat any other meals we give you. I made this suggestion hoping that this would help convince her that to trust us. She stood there thinking about what I said and then slowly brought a spoonful up to her mouth. I watched as she swallowed just as quickly as she scooped up another spoonful and swallowed. It was obvious that her hunger went out. The, the bowl was empty within minutes. I'd never seen a wolf scarf down a meal as quickly as that. <laughs> Okay, maybe it wasn't as fast as Uncle Joe after he'd given up cards for Lent, but it was still pretty fast. <laughs> Soon the smile across my face, I had succeeded. Feels good to have something in your stomach, doesn't it? Um, yeah. I told you it was safe to eat. Sorry. Uh, I should probably leave before I overstay my welcome and scare her again. I'll leave you alone to rest. Uh, please let us know if you want anything else. Oh, okay. I should probably let Dad know that she ate something. Dad, what is it, Kai? Adrian has got to eat. Dad? Kai, are you serious? <laughs> yes. She scarfed down a whole bowl of porridge. <laughs> That's such a relief to hear. I thought so, too. Are you still with her? No, I'm in my room. She started to get uncomfortable right after eating. I figured it would be better to leave and let her be. That was probably wise. We don't want to push her too hard. I agree, but she said something that was quite alarming. But I think that it's a conversation best saved for tomorrow. 
Okay, works for me. Good son. Oh, good job, son. Thanks. Good night. Well, at least I succeeded in uh getting her to eat something. There's nowhere uh wait, there's nowhere near enough for her body to heal and uh put on weight, but at least it's a start. Maybe I will work out tomorrow after that. Back to Adrian's room. With me. With me. Um, that food was so good. It's been so long since I ate something besides roadkill. Ugh, did you eat roadkill, bitch? Unfortunately, Adrian had never been taught how to hunt. Her pack didn't think that it would be this. It would be wise to teach her. How about that? Um, wow, bitch. Wow, <laughs> on the run, her wolf had to scavenge on dead carcasses on the side of the road. Y'all, I just get back in the house, so chill on me with my dead battery. <laughs> I wasn't, uh, it wasn't ideal, but it probably, uh, it's probably what saved her life from starvation. I'm surprised that he gave it to me without asking for anything in return. And it was actually free of any drugs. Is, is it alright for me to just think that things that might work out here? Who am I kidding? I can't trust them that easily. One good meal doesn't make, mean I'm safe. But at least I can sleep in a decent bed tonight. So what did Kai have to say? Who says that he got Adrian to eat a bowl of porridge? Really? She ate something? Yeah, she did. It's not much food, but it's a start. That girl's going to need a lot more food if we are wanting her to... Yeah. Her to get up to a healthy well. Wait. Okay. Um. Well, I'm aware of that, but that's not what concerns me the most. What in the hell? See, this is what I'm talking about. I put my damn Bruh. fuck. Anyway. Um. Uh, then what is it? Uh, Kai hasn't told me about it yet but i have a feeling that it might very well be the answer to why she won't eat what we give her if that's the case then the news is probably important especially if it's going to help that girl i guess you're right of course i'm right good night dear good night honey For the first time in months, Adrian went to bed with a full stomach <laughs> and slept comfortably on a fluffy queen-size bed. <sighs> How will the alpha react to Kai's realization about Adrian and her past? Uh, will Adrian continue to take the necessary steps to gain her health back? Or will this be a one-time meal leaving her starved and skinnier? <laughs> Stay tuned. Heck nah. Eh. I guess we'll go to the next one.